Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Eva. I make videos all about sustainable, low waste living, minimalism and veganism. And today I'm going to make a video decluttering some of my belongings. First, I'm going to start with my coffee and my pajama slash underwear drawers. And yeah, we'll go through those. So I keep all my underwear and pajamas and stuff in my little side thing. My boyfriend is the same. We're renting this house. You can all the wallpaper, it's disgusting. Anyway, um, so I don't have that much. I do have a pajama set underneath my pillow, which I'm currently wearing, but I decided that I no longer want these. They're just really uncomfortable and they're very seasonal. They're very like Christmassy. My mum will be upset, but I just don't like them. These are all my tights. I also have some pajama socks that I've had about three years, lots of holes. So I think I'm just gonna um, wash them and I'll probably use them actually as a duster because they're a really good material for dusting. You can see I'm kind of anal about how it's laid out. <laughs> I, I don't have OCD or anything. I don't know, I may do. I just, it makes me feel more comfortable. I already know what I'm gonna declutter really. So this is my old sports bra that I would never really wear anymore. So yeah, I got some secondhand new ones. And then I have this Lucene Yak bra that I got for Christmas. But I got it in a medium and I should have got it in a small because it doesn't support me like at all. I love the pants, the pants fit fine in the medium, but in terms of the bra, like I can't actually wear it as a bra and I wouldn't ever wear it as a crop top. So I'm gonna let go of that. If you would like me to make a whole video about sustainable underwear, I can do, just comment down below. In terms of my socks, um, again, I already know what I'm gonna get rid of. They don't stay up in my boots. When I wear my boots, they just fall down all day. So I'm gonna declutter those. And then I have some, lots of walking socks. Uh, these are like my winter socks. I just wear walking socks as my winter socks. And they're all fine, so yeah. Uh, I've got some uh, little stripy ones. I got these ones for free from BAM and I got these ones for Christmas, they're really cute. I've got some like lower cut ones as well. I love socks, love pattern socks. So unelastic now that they just fall down. So I think again, I'm gonna repurpose them for something and put those away. And then I have a, this is a bamboo sock. I don't know where his buddy's gone though. So I'm just gonna put that back in my pile and see what happens with that one. And I'll just put all these back in here. So yeah, that is those done. And so far we've decluttered this many belongings. And now let's move on to my sportswear. So I have a lot of sporting gear because I cycle, swim and run. And I also was doing, I'm going to do quite a field worky degree where I need to go outside and hike all day. So I need some stuff. So I have some walking boots that I cleaned the other day and I'm gonna put away in my like sporting bag, which I'll go get. This is my sports gear bag. <laughs> AKA my ski boot bag, but I also keep other stuff in it as well because otherwise it's just a waste of space. So we'll start with this. This is my winter scarf that I've had for a couple of years now. I love it. And my winter gloves. So they're not just for skiing, they're just for general winter stuff. Oh, this is a, um, what's it called? A ski strap. It just makes it easier to carry your skis around. <laughs> and then in the back here, I have some more stuff. So I have these for my cellar pets I'm gonna keep. That's just the straps, although I never use them. I'm gonna keep them because they're not actually my cellar pets. The hand-me-downs, I have this little hand warmer that I'm gonna keep with my ski stuff that I carry around with me, just in case. I have my winter hat, which I love, and this. Now I have another one of these, so I'll just put this one aside, because I bought this for going on field trips before I got this, before I refound this. I've had this for years, it's my childhood one, and I really prefer this one, because I have a fluffy gilet that you'll probably see, that it goes with and stuff like that, yeah. So I'm gonna declutter this, because I don't need that, and it's so tight. So yes, they're my winter stuff. Now I have these gloves that I love, and then I have my herbivore hat, and then I have my meat is murder cap, obviously keeping that. My uh, vegetarian shoes, vegan leather belt. And then I have like a thinner scarf that my parents got me home from India. That's also really good for like formal occasions. 
as like a shawl so that's like this time of year scarf and i have my goggles in here i have two swimming hats i uh i showed this in my last video this is my like competition swimsuit from my mum and i'm gonna keep that because it's just best for triathlon um for like not having to get changed <laughs> And then this is my training swimsuit. This is my Batoko swimsuit that I love. And yeah, I just love it so much. <laughs> and then I have, and I got this one and I really like it. I do have this bikini that my boyfriend bought me probably like two years ago. And I do really like it. And I actually fixed the strap and it fits me now. Cause like I said, I gained a bit of weight last year. So it didn't really fit me. So I'm gonna keep hold of that as well. So that is a lot of swim stuff. Right, and then onto the actual clothes. Waterproof trousers, a waterproof jacket. And then I have three pairs of leggings, my running leggings, some high-waisted Gymshark leggings, some low-waisted Gymshark leggings, because I can't run in the low-waisted ones, so I'm keeping all of those. Here I have my Under Armour shorts, no, New Balance shorts, Under Armour shorts, singlet and cycling shorts so i don't need to get rid of any of those i don't think i could do any less um and then i have this north face zip up exercise like hoodie i like to keep my everyday jumpers and my sports jumpers separate and then i have this really nice north face one that i got second hand i have walking trousers i got second hand my thick waterproof trousers that keeps me bone dry i've been doing the 27 miles 27 days but I really don't like it. I don't like the t-shirt. I wish I'd opted out of getting the t-shirt. I don't know why I didn't. Um, it's like really cheap quality. It's probably not made very ethically and I don't ever wear blue. So we're gonna declutter that. I could turn it into a rag or something. Who knows? So yeah, let's put all this back. So the first thing is this linen shirt that I got about a year and a half, two years ago, um, second hand. I really don't like this here and I usually wear it open. I'm not really much of a shirt person. And now I have this blouse that my mom gave me um, or handed down to me. I'm gonna declutter that one and do something with it. <laughs> and then I have this white cardigan that I love. I would always choose this white cardigan over that white shirt. So that's another reason why I'm getting rid of it. I also got this second hand, which I love it. So keeping that one. And then I have a spare hanger for this top. So that can go there. And then I have my cream linen dress. Obviously gonna keep that one, love it. And then my pink cotton dress, keeping that one. It's a bit more formal. And then I have this cardigan that I'm gonna be getting, well, keeping as well, cause I love that. Dunga short, dunga dress. Hanger for my dungarees. <laughs> Really nice linen maxi dress. This linen dress. Uh, black denim dungarees. This like uh, silk shirt that I got second hand that I really love. Um, and I just like the way that it sits rather than a more structured shirt. It's so delicate and so like, oh, it's lovely. And you don't need to iron it if you hang your clothes. And then I have this Lucy and Yak crop shirt that I had a boiler suit from them and I cut it in half and then I hemmed the shirt and used the trousers. And I think I'm gonna get rid of both pieces because I just, I'm not a big fan of crop. Um, I have like one crop top <laughs> and I'm not gonna wear a crop shirt. I don't know what I'd wear underneath it. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter that one. And I have my formal wear. So this is a ball gown that was my grandma's I think. So it's like vintage and she gave it to me. It's got like a velvet top. It's navy and then this big skirt and it is so gorgeous i do have this though this really cute beautiful sparkly um play suit jumpsuit but i'm really not loving it anymore it's really itchy so i usually wear a long sleeve top underneath it but then i when i saw pictures of myself a really great way, way of assessing if you like something is to see pictures of yourself in it it's like me in that shirt whenever i see pictures of myself wearing that shirt i just don't like it you know I, I feel okay when it's on me, but I don't feel great. And if I don't feel great, I feel uncomfortable when people take pictures of me. And especially on like family holidays and stuff, yeah. So I really didn't like the way this looked or fitted on me. Um, it's just a bit too, it's not quite feminine enough for me now. So I'm probably gonna try and sell it. Um, yeah, I just don't, 
don't like the way it fits but this I love the way it fits and I love the way it looks and it plays exactly the same role as that so my denim jacket that I love it's got all my it's got loads of vegan patches on it which I love my handy dandy stitching um and then I have this velvet blazer this black velvet blazer but it has really puffy sleeves and it comes in quite a lot on the waist and I don't really like the puffy sleeves and I don't like doing it up at the waist so it makes me look huge whenever I wear it um so I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter that one because it's just doesn't bring me any value anymore and I have my Lucy and Yak pink fluffy coat and I sewed a, a vegan patch on the pocket and I've got an anti-fur big love heart badge that I'm gonna put here um so yeah that's also staying so out of that we managed to declutter four that's my hanky four pieces of clothing which I think is really good and I'm gonna go hang them back up and then go and get the rest of my clothes oh if you're wondering these are cedarwood and I put them to separate each colour in my wardrobe um, and they help deal with uh, moth chewing through your clothes you just need to every now and then shave the wood down and the smell uh, deters the moths from eating your clothes Oh, so these are all the rest of my clothes I keep in this drawer so I have my jumpers, tops, bottoms and so yeah we'll just go through I know I'm not going to get rid of any jumpers I think I've already got quite a low amount of jumpers I also have a cream jumper that needs to go in there that I'm just gonna fold and put in there and I have a, a hoodie and it does fit in just about but yeah <laughs> it's quite tight fit I like thick warm jumpers and in terms of my tops, I am going to get rid of some tops. So I have this really lovely, I got it years ago from Levi's, this long sleeve top. But it's just completely lost all of its shape. I've sewn up so many holes. Yeah, it doesn't really serve its purpose anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that. There is another top that I'm going to get rid of, a white top, a vegan top that I just don't ever feel comfortable when I'm wearing. And it does have some holes in it. There's only so many holes you can keep sewing up, do you know what I mean? So... I'm just gonna let go of that one. So in terms of bottoms, I have my black Levi's jeans. Uh, this is like the best skirt I've ever bought. I got it secondhand like three, four years ago and I love it. And then this is the bottom half of my boiler suit from Lucy Nyack that I'm gonna get rid of because it just, whenever I see pictures of my, it makes my bum look so baggy. They're so comfy, but they're just like, my butt just looks like it's, I look like I'm wearing a nappy. And these are some secondhand shorts I got just a go although they're way too big for me um i just belt them and i love them i love them baggy oh these are some lee shorts and these are another pair of lucy knack trousers but they are just so worn and yeah they're just like falling apart i've worn them to death i'm going to part with those and then i just have this uh little pink corduroy skirt that replaced a denim skirt of mine a pink denim skirt that I really faded and got too big for me which is really lovely so I have another pair of jeans some blue denim Levi's jeans the same as the black ones exactly the same it's just these have got diamantes down the side they haven't got diamantes down the side so yeah that's quite a large declutter from there I am thinking of buying another pair of trousers like a pair of summer trousers some linen ones from linen fox because I really struggled to find thin summer trousers but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I have made. I'm very proud of myself and I'm very happy with everything that I now have. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to have a little bit of a spring clean, a little bit of a declutter. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.